If Jedi Knights are building their own lightsabers, I suppose every respectable hardware engineer should know how to build its soldering iron. For instance, I am obsessed with creating the quickest soldering station ever. If a sports car can go from 0 to 60 in less than 3 seconds, I want my soldering iron to go from 25 Celsius degrees to 400 Celsius in 2 seconds. Between picking it up from the stand and touching its tip to the PCB, it should be ready to fire. The answer to this challenge? Machine learning and AI on a simple microcontroller. <laughs> I created another soldering iron in the past and I've been improving the firmware ever since then. This soldering station has the following sensors which I plan to keep on this new iteration and use in the new firmware algorithm. Tip temperature, PCB temperature and of course initial ambient temperature, voltage measurement sensor and internal timer. So these images are the actual prototype I experiment with. It uses the PCB from the Hako Revenge project and once I'll have some measurable results with the firmware, I plan to move ahead and design a new PCB version for this one. Since I use a T12 for TS100 tip, which can heat up really quick, I was able to achieve good heating times. This previous project of mine goes up from the room temperature to the soldering temperature, which is above 320 Celsius degrees in about 6 seconds. Also, when it heats up from the standby temperature to the soldering temperature, it only takes about 3 seconds to do so. Of course, this can only happen if I power it at higher voltages between 24 and 29 volts. Fast, fast, fast! I always wanted to be able to make this soldering station faster and smaller. And since I'm redesigning everything now, I thought this is a good time to come up with a new approach. As you can see in the video, I also added a 0.96 inch OLED display to it and now it looks way much better. This type of T12 tip might be small and of a low mass, but it has a drawback of having the thermocouple connected in series with the heating element. This means that I have to power the heating element blindly for a while and then disconnect the power source and perform the temperature measurement on the same two wires. So this results in not being able to keep the heating element always on and it must be controlled through a PWM cycle that cannot be greater than 60 or 70% in some cases. So this means 30% of the time I have to read the tip, hence I get to power the heating element less. In order to make it faster than it currently is, I try to experiment with the PWM and with shrinking down the thermocouple reading times so I can expand the time frame for powering the tip. But it doesn't work. I cannot shrink down the sensor's reading window since if I do the reading right after I apply power to the lines, I get all sorts of inductive noises bouncing off inside the circuit so this was not a solution. The solution I'm thinking of is to power the heating element at 100% PWM blindly for an undefined period of time at startup. Yeah, so not only I have a sports car that can do 0 to 60 in 3 seconds, but the driver is also blindfold. How can I power the heating element for the right amount of time without reading the temperature sensor not a single time during this operation and still stop at the proper temperature? Moreover, how can I do that at different input voltages or at different room temperatures? This is where the machine learning part comes in. I'm planning to have the microcontroller sample different heating times at different input voltage values and then based on these dates to work out a linear regression and estimate the necessary heating time. 
Then it should subtract the ambient temperature variation from the nominal room temperature and add this difference to the target estimation. So let's go to work! In this particular part of the video I'm demonstrating the AI machine learning algorithm. So basically each time I pick up the iron from the stand, the microcontroller samples the heating time. The basic time it takes to heat up from the standby temperature to the soldering temperature. It stores this value in a memory stack alongside with the value of the input voltage. I could say that it learns a new heating curve each time I use it. Then, based on these learned models, it can estimate the best heat up model from the room temperature to the soldering temperature in the shortest time possible. How cool is that every lightsaber is customized to its master? Since it's based on machine learning, it will have heating times and calculated curves that are very characteristic to that specific user. Its environmental temperature, its external power, brick voltage and its tip type. So if the user is mainly using a T12B instead of a T12C, the learned heating curve will be having that flavor. The saber will be learning its master's hand and the master will learn how the tool behaves until the two shall become one. 